Welcome to our daily devotional series, A Relevant Prophet. As we're looking at the prophecy of Jeremiah and asking ourselves, what can we learn as God's people today, as Christians, as the church? So let's go to Jeremiah chapter 22. Jeremiah chapter 22. We're going to pick up with verse 10. Jeremiah 22, verse 10. Do not weep for the dead, nor console him, but weep continually for the one who goes away, for he will never return, or see the land of his birth. For thus says the Lord in regard to Shalom, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, who became king in the place of Josiah, his father, who went forth from this place, he will never return there. But in the place where they took him away into exile, there, will, there he will die and not see this land again. Woe to him! who builds his house without righteousness, and his upper rooms without justice, who uses his neighbor's services without pay and does not give him his wages, who says, I will build myself a roomy house with spacious upper rooms and cut out its windows, paneling it with cedar and painting it bright red. Do you become a king because you are competing in cedar? Did not your father eat and drink and do justice and righteousness? Then it was well with him. He pled the case of the afflicted and needy, then it was well. Is it not is is not that what it means to know me? Is not that what it means to know me, declares Yahweh? But your eyes and your heart are set on nothing except your own greedy gain, on shedding innocent blood, and on doing oppression and extortion. And we'll stop there for, for today. And God is writing to one of the sons of Josiah who would be king for a little while and saying, you know, he's gone into exile. He's not coming back. Don't be like him. Don't build a big house because you're king and say, see how kingly I am. Be like your forefather, Josiah. If you remember the story of Josiah, he's the one who, when the law was found, read it and then turned the people back to God. We need to be he needs to be, this new king needs to be like Josiah and returning to God. But woe to him who does not turn back to God. Woe to the one who builds a house without righteousness and doesn't communicate justice and peace and do those things in their life. And that's what he's talking, to, talking about to these kings of Judah who are leading the people. How does that apply to me as a Christian? How does that apply to the church? I think the simple application is asking ourselves one simple question. Are we promoting righteousness and justice? Are we living right and encouraging others to live right? Are we treating people fairly and rightly or are we part of the problem? These are just things to consider as we look at these messages and ask ourselves if we are really doing what God would have us to do? Do we really know God? If we do, then it will show in our actions and who we are. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, I thank you so much for the blessings you give me, for all the blessings that you give us. Father, this time of year, many are focused on you and your son. Father, help us to continue that focus throughout the year and help others to see that our lives should be focused on you and the way we treat people. During this time of year, people are so kind. And we remember charity and benevolence. Father, help us to remember that all year and to see those that have needs and do what we can to help them. Father, again, we thank you for your love. We thank you that you saw our need, our greatest need, our need for salvation, and you provided a way for that. Thank you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for allowing me to join you as we spend time together. I do look forward to these lessons, and I hope you do as well. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day.